yeah, my season has been like pretty like crazy. It's, this has been, probably been the, the, the season with the most ups and downs that I've had um, with all of the visits that I've had to do for college and stuff. So I started off slow because I was anticipating I would have like the same drive and the same like determination this season, just go like at every workout with everything I had. And then like I was kind of just lulling along for a while and got like stuck kind of just, you know, being like stuck with being okay and just being okay with being okay. And so that was like really difficult for me. So I, I'm, I think that if I had had the same like mental approach as I did last year and I had started out slower, it might have helped. But I really hope that I had, uh, I, I turned around my mentality this season early enough to get me back in shape for this. <laughs> yeah, I think that having, you know, that like whatever the top returner status um, gave me a bit of leverage on the rest of the girls because when I broke away I talked to even like Heather Holt after the race she was like yeah like there's no way I was going to go with you because like she thought that, like I don't know that I was just going to take off and never come back or something and she would burn out or something I was like see like if I had been anyone else I think the whole the whole pack would have gone with me. I mean it's always good to know um, you know come, when when you're really in a tight battle with someone coming towards like the last 800 or mile or so um, but yeah, yeah, the finish of Bobo is, is tough and it's, it's definitely a cross country finish. I think it's hard to bring um, track credibility up that hill and back down um, for this race. I think my goal would just be, you know, I always want to be getting better, I always want to be improving. So, so I, to improve, I have to get first or second. So that's mm -hmm. the goal.